All right. Good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's Saturday night. Hope everybody had a good had a good uh, a good uh, Saturday afternoon. I know I did. I got a lot of work done around the house and so forth. And um, welcome in, all. We got people slowly coming in. Much appreciated. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit so I'm not over talking them so much. And uh, there we go. Uh, for unfortunately, um, I have been getting quite a few copyright claims against me when I post this to YouTube, my stream. So we're gonna have to do it without music. In, until YouTube uh, figure out, figures out their shit, because uh, there's companies that we're gonna have to turn them down again, because it just seems like I'm co maybe 65 would be good. Anyway, there's companies out there that don't own the rights to any of the songs, but they, what they do is they try to claim, they put a claim against your channel so you, you, you can't fully monetize it. And, and what happens is it locks the video up for about 47 days, and I have to dispute it and file an appeal and have to send them the actual Larian Studio permission and stuff like that but in the meantime all the monetization and everything like that gets stuck in an escrow can't sell any of my shop products or anything like that online while that's happening so unfortunately i'm just gonna turn the music off in the game while i stream so i can avoid this mess other than that welcome in all i'm glad you're all here not to mention the parts and we're back in Baldur's Gate 3 on oh, Reyna. We're in the lower city, and there's a lot for us to do down here. But uh, first things first, let me uh, go ahead and put my speak with animals spell on. Let me get oriented to see where we have to go. Okay, so we'll need to we'll need to get Gale in the party. Um, but let let's visit the Emperor's old hideout first. So we're gonna go ahead and fast travel back here. And, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the background? Well, uh, behind me of, of, of the little background says what we're doing with the picture like tonight, or do you think I should just get rid of it? I'm not sure. So right now, it just it seems kind of like my, my, um, green screen is kind of having issues and it's kind of messing around with it with the camera a bit. All right, so we're there. Let's go this way. Oh. Safe for now, at least. The army of the absolute can't be more than a few days away. It's such a misery go to here now, aren't we? Uh, let's see. City walls and steel watchers to get through. There's a. There's a vendor. There's a vendor down there that sells potions and stuff, and well, I'm gonna try to. Doing a little shopping in the city. 
I think I may have overdone it with the black and purple for What do oh, I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? Well, Your look serves you well, I am well, so then. glad you asked, Edward. I'm ten years behind. No. Don't want the youths to think no. I'm not, you know, up with the times. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. So we're, we're just going to kind of have a chill night. I've been out in the yard a lot today. A broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit defective. Return to the steel watch foundry at the West Docks. Hmm. A broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit defective. Return to the steel watch foundry at the West Docks. That's new. I think it's down here. All right, so we're just going to do a little bit of exploring. I'm trying to remember a bunch of this stuff, but I can't. So we're just going to have a chill evening. We're going to get done what we can get done. Other than that, I'm not going to stress about it. I was outside all day. And I did some furniture restoration outside. And uh, planted a couple of new trees. So, going to just kind of chill and relax and. That's curious. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? Oh. The secret doorway. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it hmm. seems. All right, so we got people watching us. All right, we're going to have to come back for that. Hmm. I wonder if we can put a marker someplace. Oh. We can't. Did he? It's supposed to be dirt. No. Come on, Paul. There we go. That's kind of cool. First marker in the game. All right, let's go find this guy's shop. And uh Please kind sir. Can you spare a few coins to feed my son? He's sick and likely to die. Please sir. Oh please. Please sir. Please. It's for my son. Anything would help. Any amount at all. Welcome in. Thanks for joining the chat. Please, kind sir. Can you? I feel a little dizzy. Okay. Well, I'm trying to give you some gold. Please, sir. Please. Anything would help. All right. Well, must be a bug. Please, 
You would think there would be an option to like give like five gold or something like that. Hmm. I can't remember. Maybe it's over here. All right, let's just do some exploring, you know? I just kind of want to have a chill night and... The broad sheet's gone to pot ever since I left. You know, not... not uh, Not think about stuff too much, you know? It's been a long day. I got kind of cooked out in the sun, you know? And got stuff done. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's this way. There we go. Oh, ouch. That was my ankle that popped. Ah, uh, the, the joys of getting old. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do another marker. And it's going to be a potion. See? They, I, found, I found how to use markers in the game, so... All right, let's see what we got. What are you after, friend? Got grub, potions, a few nice vintages? Best stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder. Let's see what you got. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll, we'll take fire, of course. We'll take the food. We'll, we'll take the explosives. Oh, hell yeah. We'll take this, too. You never have enough lockpicks. We'll take that. We'll take that. Does this speak with the animal? Yep, yeah, we'll take that. And let's see what else. We'll take that. We'll take that. And what else? Oh, let me turn my phone off, too. Just to make sure nobody bothers me. see if uh hmm man tired All right, I think we're stocked up pretty well. All righty, let's let's do this. Anything else? I think we're good, buddy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's explore upstairs. I don't think we ever explored upstairs. No, nothing too important up here. Just. All right, nothing, nothing sticks out, pops out. I think we're good. All right. Basically today, what I ended up doing is like, like I said, I got a couple of the trees planted, shrubs or whatever they're called. And then, um, also uh restored some furniture some patio furniture heavy oak um chairs were outside stripped off all the old lacquer and stain they were all faded restained them and resealed them so
Let's see what it says. Brown Street Hatches. Ooh. Uh, the markers are all off. Well, close enough. quite a few things to we, that we can do um Oh, that's her that from uh Oh yeah, I know her. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna send my doll away for, for a little bit. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Oh, don't tell me that. And, and let's let's go get let's go get the vampire. Oh. Let's go get. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. All right. Uh, there we go. Thou art the master, so it shall be. All right. So now we're 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 we are going to go pick up Asterion and see if we can um, trigger another dialogue with with her. I never ran into her in the city before. And we're not going to talk to Will. I'm so sick of him. Righteous. Such a righteous little... person. Well, let's go talk to Asterion and have him join the party. Just for the conversation. This is what I like about Boulder's Gate. The conversation's really good. Yes? Hmm. Darling... I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Alright, let's get back. Hopefully she's still there. Nice. She is. Oh, my silk. What are the chances? It's you. And ah. Uh, the heart-stopping bloodsucker. Ever since our last liaison, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. Oh, dang. <laughs> Nor have I. No matter how hard I try. <laughs> Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, hmm. the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Oblodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, 
We could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Sure, why not? I've, uh, I never, out of the previous playthroughs, I never managed to find her in the city and have a, have this happen. So every time I play, something new happens. Not if you lead me first. Right, let's do a save. And I don't really care about Asterion. He's, he's a pompous, arrogant ass. But let's do a save. I just don't care for him. Most of the time, I just, you know, obliterate him and then throw him into a crevice. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. She keeps like walking this away. Flash can be repurposed. Some of it, at least. Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngarth Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. I trust you haven't forgotten what happened when I drank something she offered. This formula won't be any kinder to you. Well, yes. Hmm. Formulae Arku through Fruak were spectacular failures. But Gruner... Gruner is different. Believe me. Alright, what the hell? When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. Sure. A potion that makes you explode. Seems a bit drastic. Oh, hush now, Shadowheart. Look on the bright side, you know, since you two are a couple, you know, I'm sure Raina's probably got a pretty good, uh, life insurance policy so if she does explode you know you're gonna be very well off Ooh. sure oh marvelous i've never been so excited for anything in all my days just stand over there far over there and drink up excuse me where do you think you're going Yeah, she she blew up her house pretty good. Wouldn't you say, guys? Look at this mess. Excuse me, where do you Uh uh, my friend. Formula Gruner stays in the house, please. Go on, down the hatch. Tick tock, my friend. Tick tock. All right. There we go. Wow, I like it. Bad gas. Well, he's dead. Whatever. You damaged something that wasn't yours. You sense trouble brewing. Your apology is reluctantly accepted. Oh. 
That's the Starion. He's dead. Oh, like I really care. Guess he failed a saving throw. All right, I guess we can have Shadowheart. A long way to go still. She doesn't really like him though. Well, maybe she doesn't have Revivify. All right. Still breathing. I guess we'll do this the old-fashioned way. We should go talk to the uh, crazy scientist. Time to press ahead. Oh, let's chat with her. She's here. Oh my! My heavens! You lived! This is incredible! I'm seeing stars. Oh, you seem surprised. Ted, you expected me to die? I'd hypothesized you wouldn't, my friend. And you've proven me absolutely correct. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. Nice. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. That seems quite powerful. Thank you. You see, all right, here we go. So this is the Gen X mentality, all right? Okay. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on on X about the Gen Xers. I'm a Gen X. Okay, we were not allowed in the house during the daytime. Only pretty much for dinner. And after dinner, we were kicked out of the house again. And put it to you this way, the TV stations put commercials on at 10 o'clock at night saying, it's 10 o'clock at night. Do you know where your children are? That was for our parents, okay? To remind them that they had kids. And then another thing is, I just don't even know how, to, how even really to get this is we, we we were constantly getting in trouble constantly getting hurt and you know band-aids were never heard of if you had a cut on your finger you know what wrap it with toilet paper and put some electrical tape around it you know the bleeding will eventually stop so then another thing is you 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 got hurt first words out of your parents mouth can you move your finger? Can you move your wrist? Yes. Okay, it's not broken. We're fine. No need to go to the hospital. So, let me just tell you. This is the type of shit we would do. Hey, drink this. It'll make you powerful. Okay. You know. So, let's 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 just be real here. There there were no timeouts. There were no timeout chairs. There was no standing in the corner for 5 minutes. It it, it was oh, you did something, you said something bad, you, you, you got the belt, the paddle, or you got the twitch, which is, is pretty much a really long, thin tree branch that you would get whipped by. Like, the, we had a willow tree in our front yard, and those things hurt. So, let's... Just, you know, this is Gen X type of crap. This is the mentality. So. I mean, we had slip and slide, you know, slides that were made by Whammo. Okay. So the name says it all. I assure you the pleasure is mine. This research will skyrocket House of Blodra back to the forefront of scientific thought back home. You know how important it is to protect one's line. With power, ideally, but value works just as well. True. 
Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. Oh, yeah. You really are a fine collaborator. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we'll, we'll take the potion again. Uh, let's see, we'll take that. We're going to need it. We're going to need potions and all that good stuff. Because uh, what's coming down... What's coming down later on in the chapters... Pretty brutal. Oh, man. You know, it's probably why I have so many aches and pains in my old elder years here is from all the uh, injuries and stuff that I sustained as a kid. But it's good. It's fine. Builds character. So I think we got everything we need from her. Until next time. Oh, nice. Nice. I wonder if it's an ability now. Oh, no. Oh, let's see. Oh, man. Peter, sword. All right. We have fire in our veins now. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and have a sterium wait back in camp. Yes. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Oh, give me a break. Well, you know where to find me. You're, you're lucky I didn't take your head when I found out you were a vampire. All right, let's go get Madala back. <sighs> All right, here we go. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Oh, don't tell me that, you know. I, I, I like the blue on her. Looks good. This soul awaits thy command. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so now we got another vendor that we can chat with, which I never had before. But this is pretty cool. All right, so we, we've kind of, you know, explored a little bit, or I should say, farted around a bit. Uh, let's see. I think, we'll, should we go steal the hammer? I think we should go steal the hammer. Hey, man. Welcome in. How you doing? Uh, 
yeah, basically what I use is um, angel wings is what it's called and horns for all for that look. And then Tav's hair salon, of course, just because of all the different hairstyles and so forth. So. And uh, let's see for the outfits it's the scantily camp outfits and best thing i could say is just um uh, go on to um nexus and just type in outfits there's a lot and you can just kind of pick and choose which ones that you want to do or use Um, as for a list of mods, there, there's quite a few components that, that go along with those, so it's not just, you know, I use the, uh, oh, what is it, Boulder's Gate Mod Manager for that, which, which helps out a lot. I don't use Vortex because a lot of the stuff has issues with Vortex. Oh, you're very welcome. So how's everything going for you tonight? And by the way, thanks for joining. And And the wings might actually be called um, angel wings and halos or something like that. So, but definitely something with angel wings in it. And uh, inside that, there's two sets. There's the um, set that she's wearing right now with the black. And then there's the uh, um, white version of it, too. And... Um, what Carlac's wearing is is a uh, devil wings. So, I, I'm a big uh, D and D fan, so I kind of always figure tieflings should probably have, you know, devil wings and stuff like that. Makes just makes it cooler, pretty much. The devil's feet. Hmm. Nice. Well, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Well, I guess I should probably save. In about a half hour. Let's see if we can get into some trouble here. Talk to her. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio is a... Oh, it's you. Your little scroot of a friend left this on my floor the last time you visited. I presume you have returned to re-engage my services. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've never met you in my life. Shit. This again remind me of our past association. Definitely. I await your servicing. Your wares. Bring them before me. Uh, this is pretty much me every day I go into work. Going, shit. This again <laughs> remind me of what I was supposed to do. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You know, hope you have a. You know, good evening, too. So. We 
but yeah definitely check those out and like i said they're on nexus and um if new stuff comes out every single week almost every day so all right we're gonna go with number two you forgot what we did i find that hard to believe but if you speak truth perhaps i could jog that lazy memory of yours dang she sounds like my boss yeah You know, it's kind of the same thing he says to me every morning. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon, I knew it. I did. Let's see. Uh, let's try our persuasion on this. Alright. This is cool. We'll do that. We'll slap that. We'll do that. Easy peasy. The first hit's free, eh? My. You have changed. Fine, just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock, latchkeeper mm. of the nine hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I opened a portal for you and Lord Gortash. Whoa. Dang. So well, she's like the main culprit behind this whole entire thing. My word. This is embarrassing. Perhaps I should have explained our terms better. You asked me to jog your memory. Jog I did. Our micro pact is complete. Would you like to make another transaction? Oh, I want I want to I want to see I I want to see what uh this whole entire conversation plays out as. This is all new for me. <laughs> now, now. That would be but a drop in Mammon's oceanic coffers. You can do better. Mm, maybe let's try a hundred gold. Oh, yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. The two of you wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. How about I just, you know, let you live? That would be my answer. All right. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. You rascals stole the crown of Carsus pissed off Mephistopheles to no end. I expect you'll pay the price for that one day. You also attracted the attention of another devil, Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. Mm. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Let's poke around the rat's nest. 
Maybe set it on fire on the way out. Hell yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Mmm. Let's do it. So keen to return to the hells. Well, I suppose it's warm this time of year. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task will be tantamount to suicide. And for what? The devil has nothing that you need. Hmm. See, I don't trust the emperor here. Something, something's not right. Oh, damn, look at all those bonuses. Holy shit. Uh, if we don't get this, then, then, you know. I don't know what to say. We got it. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Deal. Let's do this. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're doing this. We're 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 breaking into hell, boys. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can do this. Now, this might take me an hour to figure it out and get it done right. That's curious. You know, I hate when things just kind of show up. Let's see what's what we. We're breaking into hell, boys. I strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action. Oh, shut up, Emperor. I don't trust you. Whatever you expect to gain from the hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. We're doing this. We don't care what you say, man. You, um... Let me turn up the volume just a little bit. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see how we do this. Let's read it. Play, okay, blood circle. Place that witch has no eyes but used to see at the western point of the circle. Okay. 
Okay. Gotta read that again. Diamond. Infernal marble coin. Okay. Place that which has no eyes but used to see at the western point of the circle. Two spaces lie opposite. So that's west. All right, I'm going to move my party over here. Separate this way. You can actually see where things need to go. I think the skull goes there. Two spaces on the opposite that point. That'd be the diamond. So all that's down. So far, we've only gotten a couple correct. All right, so then this guy maybe goes there. Or last spot. There is nothing to be gained by invading the devil's home, and everything to be lost. Shut up, Emperor. I don't trust you. You, you, you are a manipulator. Here we go. Nice. All right. Talk to her. Gods, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're going to get out of here, right? Damn right. Get in, get the hammer, and go. Easy. We won't get trapped here. We won't get dragged deeper into a furnace. We won't. On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal. Like it isn't about to explode. <sighs> I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. Let's find that hammer and get out of here before I get used to feeling like I might live. Got that All right. All right, so we're going to do a save here. And I, it is a break time. Last night I streamed Elder Scrolls Online 
Gold Road chapter, the final, final uh, mission in that, the main storyline. And that was a really long stream and pretty much three and a half hours of just straight streaming. So tonight we are going to be taking a break, stretch, get some water, get another uh, beverage. And we will be right back.
I don't hear the Emperor. It can't reach us here, I guess. Nice. All right, we're back. I got myself another drink. I did some stretches, you know? Let's talk to Shadowheart. The House of Hope, Raphael's abode. Only this time he hasn't invited us to his table. Well, we're gonna take care of him too. I'm fine. Let's just get in and get out. All right. You came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. Wait, don't go. Who are you? Please don't leave. Maybe I can help you be free of whoever is hurting you. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you, and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise, and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. Hope. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. Raphael's driven her mad. Poor soul. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question kind. Pick some of them kind twice. All right. You brilliant, beautiful maniac. I'll hold him down while you trim his arteries. Except he's not home. I'm indisposed and you're in hell. Don't waste any more words or we'll both be sorry. The house is home to many things. Most will kill you. One can save you. The hammer, the hammer that breaks the chains, you must steal it. You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Shh. here is mad even you especially me and that makes them dangerous but it also makes them stupid i'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here a simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch <laughs> now whisper your questions little wretch but really quiet and very clever concentrate Oh, she has no idea what she's asking for. Oh, we got this. Do a little reinforcement just to make sure we got it. Alrighty. Nice. Remember... Quiet as a mouse. The same place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. Discovered an ancient gate prince in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. In the archive down the corridor past the dead. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. Ooh. But I like you. 
I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question, and I'll know for sure. Sure. What is it? Can you save me? Please, 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 please. Of course. You don't even know how. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful, when you take the hammer, the fire will come. And Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. We won't. We'll get you out. I promise. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen mm. places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. There's nothing. All right. Here we go. We are in hell. And you know what? I'm going to do a save on this so we don't have to... Just in case the computer crashes or the game crashes. Or I do something extremely stupid. Probably more likely the latter, the stupid decision part, you know? Where things go sideways real fast. This place is all entrances and no exits. All right, so this is the Infernal Mason. If you guys remember from, uh, If you remember from Act 2, the Cursed Lands, Moonrise Towers, and we did a little research into the Grand Mason who created it. Well, that, that is this guy here. Very well. Another sorry soul come to wander these halls. What do you seek? Despite appearances, this whole house is more of a prison than a parlor. Most here have no choice but to remain. I am one such. This is not my home, but I can never leave. What ties you to the House of Hope? I was an architect and I a builder of tombs and temples, but mostly of towers. My proudest work reached for the stars and sought to dry Selena's tears. It was a monument to life and to virtue, and a happy home to my master for many years. Who was your master? A great general, a greater man, Catherick Thorm. When tragedy came, my master fell into darkness and despair. He marshaled a great army to ruin the world and bring all into shadow. I could not let it happen. I sought out the devil, Raphael and signed an infernal pact with him. He promised to destroy my master's army, and I promised him my soul in return. The devil was true to his word. Fiends slaughtered my master's forces, but he endured somehow and blighted the land.
Wow, okay, these are all new choices. Kethrick is no more. I killed him. Your intervention pushed Kethrick deeper into darkness. He became chosen of Merkel. Paladin. By my oath, I did what the fiends could not, and I vanquished Kethrick. Oh, yeah. Then all came to pass as I had hoped. <laughs> Though a century too late for my family and friends. Your actions may have justified the price of my soul. I thank you. Tell me, what became of my pride? What became of Moonrise Towers? When we healed the land, lifted the shadow curse, Moonrise will become a beacon of light again. I did not think it possible. Thank you. My spirit smiles for the first time in a century. Now go. Finish your business here and leave while you can. Yeah, we gave Kethrick a pretty damn good beatdown. Better not be cursed. Hmm. All right, Madala, cheer up, baby. All right, what now? We're gonna use your little sorcerer spell. And boom. <laughs> unlock Insta. Insta unlock. Have a lot on my mind. Who needs keys? That's well, in it. When you got a badass sorcerer's warlock that can unlock down. doors for you. Uh-huh. Perfect. Thanks. That beat me from the inside. Hello again, little mice. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come so Whooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Right? I need you to stay calm, hope, and guide me. We're going to get you out of here. Pull yourself together. You're more of a hindrance than a help. Raina's trying to do the right thing. She's the dark urge. So she's always fighting the evil inside of her. So she's going to do the right thing. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key, but he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel. Oh, no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. All right, let's try this. Do that. We'll do that. Got lucky on that. Hell yeah. You study your mind and prepare your questions. Fierce authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... Shh. A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Who does the archivist fear? Hope I need a name.
Boom, boom. Ooh, a tough roll. Whoops. We got this. Scarier things than you, you little mice. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind-scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. There you go. All right, I think we need to look around and talk to some of these people. Seems like a good moment to talk. They're eating me from the inside. The rats, the rats, the rats. Ugh. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Nine, one of the nine hells. Just wait so so nicely. Okay. Kinda weird. It's admirer, it's protector. It is my one true beloved. <laughs> See what this says. Hellfire, the great gift of Mephistopheles. Let's go ahead and lockpick this. There we go. Good roll. Ooh, nice. I'll read that. A detailed history of the Orphic Hammer describing the infernal workforce. It's not a weapon, it's an insurance policy. are paid and afflictions cured rejoice in the new life granted to you by my benevolence let your heart be glad let your tongue rejoice 
and let your soul rest forever in this house of hope. Anything of use? Hurt <laughs> me. Oh, we need to go talk to you. Oh, there's a portal room around here, I think. Ross, the purest of all things that burn. Exploring time. its bedfellow and you will know true pleasure okay this is definitely uh they've added some stuff since my last playthrough of the world is dimmed here the violence of life is pacified here there is order okay uh. I thought you'd got lost and died let's talk to hope again when is the door not a door when it's a jam jar we won't find a way out here. Or a way in. This is the Chamber of Egress. The portals here crisscross the plains, but they won't open to the likes of you and me. This is how Raphael consults with his client so efficiently, no matter the time, no matter the place, and it's how he stalks his prey. Ah. Us. Oh, there is. There is. If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible, yawning void. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. But you have no time to waste, or time will waste you. And what you need from the house is in the archive. Not here! We're gonna talk to this little dude. Actually, first we're gonna check... <laughs> Splendid city of Atkatla hums beyond the portal. Hmm, take that. Atkatla, city of coin, capital of arm. They say the streets are paved with gold. Guess we'll find out eventually. Actually, no, we won't. Never winter, jewel of the north. Never winter, jewel of the north. I wonder if the cult of the absolute has influence there as well. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully not. Waterdeep, the crown of the north. Waterdeep. The forces of the absolute could threaten even the city of splendors if they were to reach it. Not good. Salty air, the patter of feet. Baldur's Gate lies beyond. We have our own portal to take us back to Baldur's Gate. Mm, yes, dear. Yes, dear. But maybe we wanted to use the red portal, you know? This portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephista, nestled in the hells. 
Mm. Mephisto, home to the archdevil Mephistopheles. Raphael's bold indeed if he ever visits uninvited. Next portal. Secrets of the port city of Luscan flutter behind this portal. Luscan, city of sails, at the far north of the Sword Coast, in the shadow of the spine of the world. Okay. Menzo Baranzan, the jewel of the Underdark, lies beyond. Menzo Baranzan, city of spiders. Of course Raphael has dealings in the depths of the Underdark. Yep, let's talk to him now. Come on. There we go. Good girl. Stay out of my way. Don't touch anything and keep quiet. I've had enough pests bothering me today. I don't need another. Wow. The Chamber of Egress, way station of the hells. Providing access to Raphael's clientele, wherever they might make their home. I am its keeper, Nubaldin. Very much not at your service. Rude. The greatest pest of all! I've always thought hope to be a dirty, empty little word. She suits it well. A nasty little optimist who doesn't have the good sense to lose her mind completely like the rest of us. Okay. She has a rather loathsome habit of popping into existence all over the house to shout words of encouragement to the other denizens. It's most irksome. But her appearances are just a trick of the light. Her corporeal form is down in the dark, bound by unbreakable chains in Raphael's oh. dungeon. It used to be my prison, New Baldin's very own pit of pain. I was its keeper. <laughs> that was a very long time ago. Why don't you work in the prison anymore? I made a mistake. Raphael doesn't tolerate mistakes. We had one house guest by the name of Gortash. A mischievous little blot of a boy. And he slipped through my fingers. <laughs> Lord, is that what he calls himself these days? The sniveling little shit. He was the son of a cobbler or some such meager tradesman, sold to Raphael by his loving parents to pay off a petty debt. <laughs> Lord, indeed. I used to bruise my knuckles on his whimpering little face. I'd like to have snapped his neck. Wow. Then why not get to the snapping of necks instead of the flapping of lips? I tire of you. What interest do you have in the prison? I suppose. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Turn left when you exit this chamber, and you will find a hatch that leads beneath the house. That's where they keep the naughtiest souls. Do watch out for the guards, though. They're not as reasonable as you and I. <laughs> All right, we got the info we needed. Let's talk to Karlak here. So, Gortash's parents sold him to a warlock. Why does that sound so familiar? I've got no interest in empathizing with the fuck. But maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. When you get fucked up, you fuck up right back. Wow. Oh. Got that right. You got that right. That's a beautiful statement. Okay. Nice. 600 gold. You! You! Are you... good? You can't be! No one can! No matter how straight we stand, how much we smile. I tried! I tried! But I don't think I can ever be good! Instead, I'll be perfect! All right, Looney Tune. Okay, so that's the hatch that we need to go down. There was a shadow at my door. I opened up. Hurt me. Show your invitation. Ah, uh, forget what we have to do. Let's do a save. To her can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation can you i suppose that makes two of us uh -huh. that little disguise hope gave you is adorable i can see right through it of course and so will Raphael. he's going to notice you nosing around his house i hope you're ready to face a very angry devil why don't you run off and tell him carilla you love tattling to daddy, don't you? What are you doing here and I don't fear Raphael? I always go for the info question. Me? This is home base. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing here. Plausible deniability. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. 
If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But hope and hell? Why? <sighs> That's the definition of insanity. She is. Though we've got about as much in common as a princess and a pauper. Raphael offered her the world. She didn't want it. He sweetened the deal. She said no. No matter how many times he upped the ante, she just laughed in his face. He didn't like that. Oh, yeah. Eventually, he took her by force. Trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. Conversion. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves puzzles. You being here is another puzzle. You don't seem like you want to die. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take Raphael down. Might not be tonight. We're just gonna get things kinda Staged next Saturday. We do not demand silence, but please keep prayers, words of encouragement, and friendly conversation to a minimum. Okay. Oh, yeah. this guy just look exquisitely arranged down to the last thread if you see him tell him how beautiful it is will do buddy I see the Orphic hammer I'll cleanse the books Home each and every line for falsehoods and purge them pure. Uh, let's see. So there's the hammer. There's the gloves. Oh, uh, we should talk to this guy. Uh, we're gonna save it. A guest? Are you a client of the master? Or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells. I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor schedule. Hmm. Hmm. His eyes flicker back and forth as if he is reading a book. He has the schedule memorized. Or is carved into his eyelids. Hmm. <laughs> Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. Let's see if we can pull this off. We need that one, we need that one, and we need a, that one. All right. Nice. Got lucky on that. A thousand apologies, O oh Majestic Magistrate of the Infernal Court. 
Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses, but my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for, and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. pair of gauntlets that allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts. Mm. Most invigorating. Mm. And awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities just as surely as shit gathers flies. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's just... <laughs> it's so true to life, you know? <clears throat> Most droll, Inquisitor. As you well know, the crown of Cassus is lost. Stolen from Mephistopheles by gods kissing mortals. My master certainly had nothing to do with any of that business. An exquisite and most unique artifact. Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. Alrighty. Let's go take a look at the hammer is what we need. The Orphic Hammer. When the Orphic Hammer strikes like thunder, even astral chains are torn asunder. Nice. Gauntlets of hill giant strength. Hmm. What's that? Do it safe. We're going to see if we can disarm that. Wow, we need to like roll something really good. We need like a 15 or up. And we got it. Nice. Can't quite take them yet, cause he'll he's standing there. But uh in time, we'll we'll we'll, we'll loot this whole place and get what we need. Sign you so away. Amulet of greater health. See, we can do this again. Nice. That won't set off any alarms, and that'll stay like that. 
All right, so we are going to go ahead and head out here. Do a little more exploring. And then... Oh, this is the portal room. Okay, so I know where we are. All right, so we got these doors open for our escape. If I remember correctly, I feel my legs. All right, so we're going to get ourselves set up for the theft of stuff for next Saturday, which something over there. The spilt wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison, an unexpected treat. The spilt wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison. An unexpected treat. So, uh, like I was saying, we're going to get ourselves set up for the, uh, theft of the hammer for next, uh, Saturday at 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time is when we'll be streaming and there's going to be a fight there's always a fight so I know there's going to be a fight Am I still breathing? so we're going to go ahead and save right here Make sure that saves. All right. So, like, I got a couple little house items, house cleaning items here to take care of real quick. Uh, I'm going to only be streaming on Saturday nights going forward. My schedule has been updated on Twitch and YouTube. And I'm going to be updating my social media sites to reflect that also. So, thank you all for coming out and joining us tonight. Joining me and... Um, chit-chatting, lurking and stuff. More than happy to answer any of your questions about the game and stuff. And glad you came out. Thank you for the time on Saturday. Much, much appreciated. Muchos gracias. And um, I look forward to seeing you next Saturday, 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. And this is going to be a wrap for tonight. So everybody have a great night.